Hello everyone, welcome to Soapified. Today we are making heart-shaped soaps with heart-shaped loofahs inside. And these are my heart-shaped loofahs that I grew in my garden last year and I have molded them into the shape of a heart. So if you would like to see how this soap is made, stick around. Thanks for watching everybody. We're going to start with um, using our batch certified red dye. That means that a sample of each of our dye batches has been tested and approved for skin use by the FDA. So you guys don't have anything to worry about here. I make sure I make my soaps correctly and follow all the appropriate regulations. So you don't have anything to worry about as far as if your soap was made right. We're going to be using our Love Spell fragrance today. And here's the loofahs that I molded into the heart shape. There you go. You can see it better there. You guys, I really, really like this Love Spell fragrance. It is a complete dupe of the Vicky's, and it smells really, really nice. There's our fragrance oil going in. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice. I like it a lot. It kind of smells like candy almost. And there's our red heart-shaped mold we're going to be using today. I don't know what happened to the original footage of me pouring it in, so I wanted to do it again for you guys. I guess it got lost. I'm not sure what happened. And there's our fragrance oil again. Sorry about that. Sometimes these things happen with editing and I'm a soap maker, not an editor. So we have our loofahs molded into heart shapes in our molds and we're going to spray it liberally with rubbing alcohol to make sure that the soap bonds to our loofah inserts. And we just pour it in our molds. Making sure, trying not to spill any. And if you want to use your loofah after the soap is gone, that's fine. You just want to make sure to clean it properly and dip it in a bleach water solution to sanitize it. The loofahs were uh, a really fun process to grow. They have a really long growing season. They were soaked in a bleach water, bleach water solution to sanitize them. So... Um, they also became wider in the process, which was really nice because that's how you're used to seeing them look. And I used my scissors here that I cut my loofahs to just make sure they're in the right spot as the soap hardens. And we want to spray again with rubbing alcohol to make sure to pop any air bubbles
And now we're back after the soap is ready to be demolded. You guys, I think they look so cute. They've got this transparent appearance that you get when you use the dyes. I'm just going to demold these here real quick and then I'll show you all of them at the same time so you could really see how they look. Aren't they so cute? And there are our heart-shaped loofah soaps. And we'll spray them with rubbing alcohol so you guys can kind of see how transparent they look with the loofahs inside. And that's basically what they look like when they're wet after you've used them to wash your hands and stuff. I just really am so happy with the appearance and how they came out. They're super cute. It was really fun because loofahs take like the entire growing season to grow. So being able to finally do this is so fun. And we'll just put them aside so they can finish drying and they will be ready to package up and sell.